Well, hello there, konnichiwa, good morning to you all. So, I came with the review for Bleach 537 chapter called Everything But The Rain, opening 10, Prince Von Licht. Uh, and my reaction to this chapter is... Whoa. Literal. Whoa. This chapter was... In my opinion... Blow-minding. And also great, because it confirms several ideas that I did present along the time. Uh, and I'm quite pleased with that, obviously. Uh, but let's start with the beginning. The beginning is the continuation of the talk between Ishigo and Ishin about what really happened to Masaki. And also, uh, and I remember having this discussion in a forum quite a while now, when we are discussing uh, the possibility of Masaki being a Quincy and what powers she could have. And I, or what Quincy powers is she will, will have. And I always defended that the fact that he uses Blunt, or Blunt appears in the fight with Chua, means that his mother also could have and use that technique. And I remember being bashed by several users in this forum because they think that Blunte was simply an ability that the Van der Rijk used. And I always say the contrary of that. Uh, and I also always defended the theory that in the list, the blood, uh, the pl uh, and after the re the revealing the hierarchy of the Quincy's between pure blood and mixed blood, I always say that if Mazaki, or since Mazaki is a pure blood Quincy, most likely his abilities, or she possessed the innate abilities of a Quincy, like the Van den Reich have, and Blunt is one of those techniques. Uh, and, uh, well, I was right. In any case, well, uh, before I disperse myself again, uh, yes, the conversation starts and continues, and um, Ishin explains to Ishigo that uh, he did not help Mazaki because he did not count that Mazaki should die against Count Fisher because she was a, 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 a quite powerful Quincy. Apparently, she did not lose her powers after the treatment of Urahara. I was I did not. I also presented this opinion as one of the hypotheses for Masaki died, but luckily uh, I was wrong on that. So, but I remember that I also say that uh, it's quite possible that instead of Eisen, or it will be very interesting that instead of Isaac being behind the death of Masaki, it will be the Van der Reich. I did not think in Jua, uh, that's correct. However, I always presented another option for Masaki that, that something more did happen to her. Uh, and one of my hypotheses was related with the Quincy's. And in this chapter, this is revealed. Because apparently, Juadar is the ancestor of all the princes that existed since the beginning. And apparently, the princes has a myth that uh, says of a sealed king, in this case, Juba, I guess. And apparently, he needed 900 years to regain his body more 
19 years to regain his intelligence and whatnot, and more 9 to 10 years to regain his full powers, to become apparently alive again. This is not quite uh, clear, but apparently that is the case. Uh, and that all, like, uh, and we also learn the meaning behind the words that Jua spoke to Ishigo uh, about uh, my son born in darkness, because, like Ishin explained, all princes, or all descendants of princes, have Juabar blood in themselves uh, and apparently nine years ago Juabar kind of made the Auschwalen Aus, I think it's Auschwalen let me see and confirm the name uh, Auschwalen is that the selection and apparently Nine years ago, he began gathering the power of all mixed blood quinces to make them their own. And apparently in that process, Kanai Katakiri, the mother of Uryu, and Ishin also confirms that, died due to this process. And apparently Mazaki, even if she was a pure blood, since she was corrupted, let's say on that way, by all of powers, he, she was considered inferior to the selection and thus she automatically apparently lose her powers and end up dying at the ends of Grand Fisher. So this is a, well it's a solid explanation, for me it's a solid explanation, makes sense given the explanation that Ishin is giving to Ishigo and uh, it uh, well and also this put aside some theories that I have been reading and hearing on videos that Ryuken was the guy behind all the stuff with the Van der Reich and the Quincy it's not the case so I will be guessing that Ryuken will fight against uh, the Quincy's, I guess. However, at the end of this chapter, one of most epic moments uh, we have, we see Juabar in the throne room, and we see the guy Ash Ashwald coming, and Juabar kind of asks him, so do you bring the new subject, I s or subject, or probably in other translation, Oscan Lation will be recruit and he says yes I did bring him and then we see Uryu with the Van der Reich uniform and apparently he joined the Van der Reich so this is well um, and I saw that some guys in videos re I remember they pointed this possibility that Uryu would also join the Van der Reich and eventually fight against Ishii and Soul Society. So, this is very interesting. Um, but this kind of is um, similar to the situation with Naruto and Suzuki, mm, in some way. Uh, but, uh, well, it's uh, fantastic. And that final page where the, ch the title of the chapter appeared with Uryu in a uh, Van der Reich uniform, that's simply um, epic stuff, completely. Um, and, well, Ishigo is thanking them, he thanks his dad for the talk, and I guess this is the end of the, the flashback, I guess. And on the next chapter, we will continue in the main storyline. Uh, it's a fantastic thing, the expression of Ishigo af after learning all the truth behind Mazaki, his eye expression, Kubo did it uh, fantastically well, uh, and 
even if Shin was kind of surprised because apparently he was kind of expecting a scolding from the part of Ishigo or something like that and it's very interesting and then we are so also have a, 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 pa a small panel with uh, one of the eyes of Ishin and he is kind of determined to also fight and it's fantastic uh, it's uh, this this chapter is epic stuff then Ishigo leaves and he meets Ikumi, and Ikumi apparently is to is coming to the Kurosaki clinic to hand him the, the badge, and he takes the badge, and then he goes off. Uh, Agar, now I don't know where Ishigo will be going. I don't know if he will be going to Urahara's place, per perhaps asking him to send him again to so society. Or will he be trying to talk with Uryu and then discovers that he joined the Thunder Light? Will he be trying to talk with Ryu and, uh, and learn something more or begin his Quincy training? Maybe. Uh, this is quite uh, interesting uh, and. Uh, but man, I say. The, the final panel with Uryu in the Van den Reich uniform, man, that's epic, is epic stuff, completely, is epic stuff, uh, and then Ju is telling, so let's fight together, my son, hey, it's, it's, um, it's, ah, fantastic, this chapter was, 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 epic chap was epic chapter for me it was epic chapter completely and then uh well but this uh, well, i don't have enough words words to speak about the awesomeness of this chapter it was well fantastically well done the expression of the characters the emotion that Kubo made the characters send us or show us the intensity of those emotions, the intensity of these feelings. It was draw in a spectacular way. Um, and this is epic. Well, it, this is only what I have to say. This was an epic chapter for me. It was one of the most fantastic chapters of Bleach so far. S uh, and, well, what can I say more? It's it. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It was greatly done. The art was spectacular. The story, progression, great. Uh, he, Kubo did go straight to the point he intended to go. It's fantastic. And also he reveals or confirms a lot of stuff. Confirms that Katagiri, Kanai Katagiri was the mother of Uryo. Like I say since the beginning she appeared as a character. Uh, and it also explains pretty well and very well done the why Masaki died, why Katagiri died, it's fantastic. Um, and I guess na it, it was nine years ago that most likely uh, Ryu can lose the interest in the Quincy's affairs, I guess. However, I do wonder about one thing. Why during the, this selection, why Ryu can, well, was not uh, a target for it. Um, yes, he is a pure blood Christian and Ishin explained that only the ones that died through the stall of their powers were mixed blood Quincy's and Masaki because she at the point was kind of a mix of blood. However, what is the story 
of the sheet as and its differences with the Van der Reich. This is also an interesting point and I think that this will be important later on. So I honestly do hope that um, uh, Ishigo now goes to Ryuken or tries to talk with Ryuken and maybe ask Ryuken to help him training his fancy abilities. Uh, that's my hoping. But uh, I might be wrong and probably that will not happen in the next chapter, most likely. I also do hope that uh, that uh, Kubo goes uh, or, or either to Soul Society and Royal Palace or either to do Ecomundo, but I can, I only hope that next chapter was already here, but in any case, uh, this is my review for Bleach 537, everything but the right, opening 10, Prince, like, like Prince, or the Prince of Light, so, uh, hope you enjoy, stay well, if you have your own ideas, theories, ideas, comments, put them below, stay well and peace.